All right, so this is just a real quick test we're doing with the uh, IR strobe that we're demoing. Um, as you can see here, I have the Matrice with the Z30 and the X-T2 attached. It's set up with the Crystal Sky. Um, you can see right now I have IR cut on. I'm going to shut that off. Um, this particular strobe, I'm going to press and hold it for three to four seconds. It's going to come on. That gives me a real dim red LED indicator. You wouldn't see it at night from any distance, but at least you know the strobe is on. Um, and then again with the Z30, if you're showing it in front of the lens, you can see, you'll see that, and you still have all the color and everything else that you have. Um, but in the Z30 setup, you have under your menu, IR cut. And by enabling the IR cut, you're going to see, well here, this is the strobe just sitting down, but from a distance, That's a strobe. Now this particular strobe allows you to go into a flash mode, a steady spotlight mode, and a flash strobe mode, and then back. But um, from a distance, obviously at night, if you were trying to identify your ground personnel or other personnel, having these equipped with either responders on the ground and using the feature on the Z30, or having it on the aircraft with the inverse for tactical teams would be really helpful. Um, extremely bright. Um, we're going to fly it um, at night and do some range testing, but I have uh, no doubt that uh, from a long distance I'll be able to see it quite clearly. And I haven't really messed around with the IR part of it, but we had some tactical teams that were talking about it and we thought we'd give it a shot. So I uh, wanted to share that for those that would have a need for this or see a need for it. Uh, feel free to comment um, and uh, everybody have a great day and stay safe out there.